Pokemon Platinum. <laughs> what will a screenshot <laughs> prove? What can a video prove? The only way I can prove my experience is to tell you to do this yourself. You will see that I am not lying. March 4th, 2014. The more I write, the more I remember. It all started when I tried to get a copy of Pokemon Platinum. On Amazon, it was over $45. Sometimes even up to $75. After I had bought a DSi, I decided that I would go to GameStop to get a DSi shop card. I don't know what my naive self was thinking. What were you thinking? Uh, I was thinking that I'm not going to use that voice anymore. I, I <laughs> realized what happened. Uh... So, um... Lavender Town, is that just a free space, or does it actually have to bring up Lavender Town? I think that's just a free space. <laughs> okay. Uh, hold on. <sighs> we'll never know what he was thinking. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Alright, here we go. I found that it didn't sell them. Why do I still do that voice? <laughs> the first Stop. thing I do. <laughs> it normally. I found that it that they didn't sell them anymore, so I remember which DS games I had wanted. I heard good things about nine nine nine, nine hours, nine persons, nine doors. Saw things I liked in Dimension Two, but the game I wanted the most was Pokemon Platinum. They had nine nine nine, didn't have Dimension, and if I were to buy Platinum, I would have to pay four to five dollars. I was annoyed at that point and walked out with only 999, which was $22. I decided to instead get a DS emulator, the Smoomie to be exact. The only game I got on the emulator was Pokemon Platinum from e e Emu Paradise. Big surprise, right? I loaded up and everything is normal. I didn't hear distorted Lavender Town theme music. Watch Giratina cut off a trainer's head, no reference to any form of sexual abuse or hypnotism, no bird alive sprite. Really, what? it loaded without any bullshit. What? <laughs> when the went creepy to the creepypasta that references other creepypastas. <laughs> Surprisingly common. Uh, when I went to the file select screen, there was no continue option. Did you really think I would have shows continue anyway? <laughs> no, everything was normal. This guy has got creepypasta savvy right here. <laughs> <laughs> April 4th, 2014. I started playing again after a month. Everything was still normal. No blood or gore, nor self-aware Pokemon or NPCs. None of the Pokemon asked why I had abandoned them. There was not a single ghost in my party. I still had my two gym badges, was still in Heart Home City, my Pokemon were still very happy. <laughs> I did still find it awkward, though, that there were so many trainers that I could sneak around, though. You could even walk straight up to the gym leader in Orberg City. I am walking around when I start to notice the screen is glitching. It was a funny glitch, though. It made it look like a Messina was chasing me. Do I cross that off? That is something that I, I don't know if you should cross that off, but... <laughs> Although, while I was playing, there was still something watching me, but I will leave that for another story. <laughs> <laughs> the glitch didn't hurt my ROM or emulator, so I ignored it, thinking that the person who made the file just didn't encounter it. It is normal for an emulator to glitch. April 5th, 2014. I noticed there are more places to go than I remembered when I first played this a couple of years ago. Maybe it's because of my memories of it were old. Maybe I just forgot about uh, some of these places. Who knows? I guess it's just me. Why is it that I felt sorry for beating that one lady in the Pokemon Tower outside of Celestian Town? Well, uh, she did say that her happiness just died, and that losing that battle didn't cheer her up much. Which I understand all too well. I am familiar with that feeling. Beep boop. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Are you listening to what you're thinking? You really feel sorry for a bunch of pixels. Are you really that pathetic? 
Seriously, she's just a bunch of pixels that said something that only seemed relevant at that particular moment. Nothing interesting happens for a while after. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's happening. I haven't checked off anything. I put a question mark on this, you know. I love uh, th this are things that are not happening in this story, and if and if the a date did actually happen, we probably would have bingo already. Yeah. <laughs> April thirteenth, two thousand fourteen. Something seems off. I don't know if I'm seeing so many magic carps on their backs and on dry land. Who yeah. does that? I know they're just magic carp, but that is still horrible. This is why is I that think graphic? I thought that bombing the Great March was good enough for them, but I have been proven wrong. This is really reminding me of the Snow Traveler's Diary, by the way. <laughs> uh, April 14th, 2014. There's something wrong here, I just know it. I feel as if something is very different. Cyrus is letting me rescue Mesprit, Asolf, and Yuxi. I walk... Uh, walk? <laughs> I walk into the warp panel <laughs> uh, and get to where they were doing the experiments on those three Pokemon. Apparently, all Cyrus really wanted was the crystals. I sneak past the scientists, thinking that they would stop me when I noticed something. The way they are moving is in a way that someone uh, patrolling the area moves. They look upset and regretful. I talk uh, to one of them, still expecting a battle. Inst instead, I see this. I can't believe we did this. I regret what it made us do. I walked to another one, now knowing not to expect a battle. She moves with sorrow as well. <laughs> she moves with sorrow is a pretty is... good... <laughs> is that evil poetry? I don't think it's that yet. It, it, uh, isn't it specifically dialogue? <laughs> Yeah, that's true, that's true. She doesn't seem like most of the scientists do. She isn't so devoting to catching me and getting rid of me. None of the others were, though. Sure. <laughs> I interact with her when she says this. This makes me feel so sick. I am worried about what Cyrus is going to do with those crystals. Uh, now I start to feel sorry for them. I feel like, for some reason, it's my fault, too. There's also this creepy music playing in the background, but uh, when did NPCs become morally aware of their actions? I want to cry, but I can't. What do we, we classify that sentence as? Uh, Is that only for teasing, teasing literally everything. I'd say thing. emo poetry dialogue we can cross now. I said that one basically there. Uh, I won the battle against Cyrus. Uh, but does that really mean anything? Is beating him of any value? What is the point of all this? Is it really a point in... Oh, yeah, bottom right, bottom right, bottom right. <laughs> is it really a point in winning Pokemon battles with these terrorists when the better thing to do is kill them? What is the point in winning? Is this time my Pokemon lose their innocence with my character? Or really use it Pokemon as weapons? It doesn't seem fair, does it? No, all I really want is for Mesfrit, Asolf, and Yuxi to get their revenge. They deserve it more than I do. Can we put how dare you harm fictional characters? Yes. I went through the distortion world after uh, Cyrus summoned uh, uh, Palkia and Dialga. I am scarred from what I experienced in Veilstone. <laughs> I've caught Giratina. The Pokemon have had revenge. Cyrus is left in the distortion world. The port is closed. The world is saved. I still don't feel any better, though. I still feel like shit. The end. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's it? But that actually happens in the game. <laughs> uh, well. Comments here. Uh, I think you did a great job, Ben Bomber. I really loved it, 10 out of 10. <laughs> and another one, this was average for me. I understand it was your first pasta, but I think it could be better. I loved how better it was. <laughs> do we get to do protagonist starts bawling? I think it is. He specifically said he didn't, though. 
Yeah, but it's, I, oh, think, yeah. I think it's a combination of that and it's no use. Ooh, I'll cross them both off. It still doesn't get me a bingo, though. I've got a lot in the bottom right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, the thing is, most of the other things probably are, like, I don't know if they're checked because they're like, oh yeah, this is things that happen, but I'm not doing it. See, I'm just going to cross off, like, everything that was mentioned but didn't happen in a different color. Let's see. What did he mention at the start? With, like, did he mention unofficial labels or anything? He mentioned everything. <laughs> uh, no, because he didn't actually get, you know, he used it emul emulators. Ah, that's right. I just love how uh, yeah, let's let's talk about other things and then nothing really happens. <laughs> Is this another weepy pasta? 